this is another question uh, regarding the value at risk and over here rather uh, uh, we need to uh, check that what is the minimum expected loss just for a single stock the question is about the portfolio so there is uh, two stocks and uh, one is the Taylor truck stock let uh, categorize it as an X stock so this is an X stock over here and its mean is is 13 percent so return the so the annual return mean of Taylor truck stock is X we are denoting it with X and it's 13 percent with the standard deviation annual standard deviation or uh, the standard deviation of the annual return is the the sigma s and that is 42 percent there is another stock which is michael mopped manufacturing and let's denote it with y so the uh, annual return mean for y is again 13 percent and the standard deviation of this stock the return of this stock is 68 percent and both of them are on annual basis now uh, with the portfolio because now these are the two stocks and they are making up the portfolio where 50 percent is uh, the weight given to stock x and the rest 50 percent is weight given to stock y as mentioned in the question uh, the question now finally is that if this is the portfolio and uh, the portfolio is made of uh, up of these two stocks then with 16 percent probability what is the minimum or smallest smallest expected loss for this portfolio in the coming month so the question is about the month rather about the coming year that's why we have to first convert the annual uh, returns into the monthly return and the 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 annual standard deviation uh, into the monthly standard deviation uh, one thing over here is this that right now we have the st the the expected the 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 return in terms of the stocks so first we have to find the 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 mean return of the portfolio uh, or the expected return of the for portfolio and also the the standard deviation of the return um, uh, of of the portfolio return so we know that uh, the the expected return of portfolio is simply the weighted average of the assets present in the portfolio so the return of the portfolio over here will be simply the expected return is 0 0.5 multiplied by 13 percent then this 0 0.5 is the the weight uh, the portfolio weight of stock tyler tr truck uh, which is denoted by x and the 13 percent is the expected return of this x stock plus 0 0.5 because the other half is invested in the uh, uh in, in the in the michael mobbed uh stock manufacturing stock so again it's 0 0.5 because the this is the weight assigned to the other stock with 13 percent expected return and if you'll calculate it you will get back 13 percent right now what is the formula for the standard deviation of the uh, of the portfolio so the portfolio standard deviation we can calculate if with this where we have the the weight of the stock x its square and the variance of stock x its square plus the weight this this is the variance actually it's not square it's actually the square uh, of the standard deviation and then weight of y and the square of its standard deviation plus the 
the two weight of first stock weight of second stock standard deviation of the first stock standard deviation of the second stock into the correlation of the return of stock x and stock y so if you plug the numbers in so if you want to plug the numbers in you have something like this 0 0.5 square and then the standard deviation square so 0 0.4 uh, square plus 0 0.52 square the other stock and the standard deviation of the other stock which is the 0 0.68 square plus plus 2 into the weight of the first stock into the weight of the second stock into the standard deviation of the first stock into the standard deviation of the second stock into the correlation of these two stocks and correlation is minus 0 0.5 which is given over here right so now if we will solve it I have actually already solved it manually and my answer is actually the the, 20, the 0 0.2972 which in terms of percentage 29.72 and i will also double check it there is a two asset stock uh, two asset portfolios standard deviation calculator so if i'll open it up uh, let's see if i will be able to open it up but if you open it up you can double check that i you will get the same number uh, for this one as well so let's see if i'll be able to open it um sorry i cannot be able to open it but you can go on this website and feed in the 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 standard deviation of the both stocks and its correlation and uh, with the 50 percent weight you will find that you will get 29.72 percentage as the standard deviation uh, uh, or deviation of the portfolio this portfolio now we are good to go this is the annual standard deviation and expected return of the portfolio which we have found now with this we can go ahead and convert them into the monthly uh, the return of the portfolio and the standard deviation because the question is about upcoming month let's suppose if the question would have been what would have happened in the next two years then we would have to convert them and the, the 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 expected return for the two years time period and likewise the standard deviation for the two years time period but the question is that what would be the minimum expected uh loss of the portfolio in the upcoming month so we have to convert it into the monthly basis again and how do we do it by this time i think uh, you should be able to understand that thing that expect the, the 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 mean of the portfolio so the mean of the portfolio will be simply the uh, the uh, simply the uh, uh we will multiply it with one it will multiply it with the t and over here we will have the portfolio return so this is comma actually right so the portfolio return this is the annual portfolio return and the annual portfolio return is 13 percent multiply by what is the t so uh, what is the t T is basically one month, which means one divided by 12. It's a fraction of a year. So if this would have been, say, three months, then we would have divided three. Uh, 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 we would have divided three with 12. So three by 12. But in this case, it will be one by 12. So if you'll solve it, 
you will get i'm doing the calculation right now so keep doing it with me so 13 divided by 12 i got 1.08 percent right now for the uh, for the standard deviation we portfolio standard deviation with d period we have the annual standard deviation of the portfolio multiply by under root or square root of t so if we'll plug in the value we got actually the 29.72 percent into 1 divided by 12 so again i'm doing the calculation uh, 1 divided by 12 it's under root multiplied by 29.72 percent i got 8.58 percent so 8.58 percent is the value which i got now we will we are in a position where we will be able to find the probability of the minimum expected loss uh, uh, in fact we, we probability is already given with so the, we can be able to find the ex minimum expected loss with 16 percent probability in the upcoming month so probability is 16 percent and the the um, the return of the portfolio which we are expecting is less than and equal to the expected return of the portfolio which is mean over here in this case and that is this one 1.08 percent minus so where is this 16 percent will lie if you go to the z table z table will tell you that the 16 percent is again between minus one and minus 0 0.99 so 0.9 over here and 0 0.09 over here right so if you add them together it's actually minus 0 0.99 so what is the midpoint of this because the 16 is between these two points over here right this thing right and this thing so almost and uh, it is in the middle so if you take the average of minus 1 and minus 0 0.99 you will be having minus 0 0.995 so we will be using that value so i'm going back over here and over 0 0.995 multiplied by 8.5 eight percent which is this one right so if i will solve it i will get that the minimum loss at 16 percent probability in the upcoming month will be 7.46 percentage so this minus is suggesting a loss this one this minus is suggesting a loss so that is how i got minus 7.46 percent so again with 16 percent probability the portfolio minimum expected loss is 7.46 percent in the upcoming one i hope that question uh, is now easy for you to understand and uh, the exercise which i have done over here is uh, like you are able to understand it completely thank you